very shadowy. <laughs> I said a bark bark over there. Yeah, they're too far away. They've been shooting cans and stuff on top of the roof and from over here too. Oof. Hard day's work. I'm super tired and the sun is setting and we have friends enjoying a meal together and playing music in the main room. We got Wizard coming with me on a little walk here into the desert. So uh, we've talked as a as a community here, at least as far as this camp goes. And uh, I hate money, and Tori hates money. Uh, so we decided, please don't send us any money. Uh, we don't want your money. Um, <clears throat> if you want to help, show up and pick up a shovel. Uh, or a hammer, or plant a seed, uh, or bring us some water, uh, or help us build a water filter. Oh, look at that moon. This just doesn't really capture the beauty of out here on a camera. You have to come out here and see for yourself. Uh, anyway, yeah, we probably permanently, but definitely for the foreseeable future, have decided that uh, we are not going to accept cash donations. Uh, so don't send us any money. We don't want your money. Um, if you want to send something and you can't make it to help in person, uh, then uh, send us something useful. Um, that way, you know, I just see a lot of YouTubers and nothing against the other slab YouTubers, but, um, you know, uh, it also saves me the trip to the store, right? If I, like, need money for a generator or whatever, um, better to send the generator than to send the money um, and uh, you know most people out here I could tell you I've you know I've got to know a lot of slabbers uh, while I've been here um, the vast majority of the people streaming on YouTube are you know legitimate and um, you know they're not scammers or strangers or anything like that um, but a couple of them are uh, so be careful who you send your money to and be wary of people who are asking for your money um, you know the whole point of being out here off-grid there's my tree, and there's Flux's school bus, and there's the greenhouse, and there's Tori's camp. I don't know if you can see it over there, but it's right there next to us. I could throw a rock at Tori's trailer over there. I could throw a rock at the school bus over there. So, uh, yeah, we're a very close-knit community. If you see that other trailer behind the school bus, let me just find the school bus. There's the school bus, right? There's the school bus, and then right here... Right here is another trailer right there. That's the behind Shepherd's Treehouse. Uh, and right beyond that is Wolfpack. So as I drew on the map the other day, like we're all really close together here. Um, and we are a community, for better or for worse. We fight like family sometimes, but like let, us, let an outsider come down here and find out how close we are. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, if you want to send stuff, I mean, you know, we could always use the help, but honestly, like, the whole point of being off-grid is to be self-sufficient, and I just don't understand the, like, begging for donations online if you're out here off-grid being self-sufficient. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you want to send clothes or women's items or whatever, you know, uh, things that, things that, I mean, certainly we could use. I don't have a power tool in this place, not one. I do everything with a, like, screwdriver and a hammer because um, we just don't have it. Um, you know, we're building all the water filters by hand. Thankfully, believe it or not, I'm not the only talented engineer out here. I actually know a couple other people in the slabs who are just amazing with their ability to do um, engineering. Like, wow, you know. Uh, so I have two very, very smart people here who, together with myself, have designed a water filtration system that we could build out of two 55-gallon drums. Uh, there are two 55-gallon drums available here. They're both kind of like rancid with old water, so I'm going to have to like wash them out and everything like that. Um, but I feel confident that like, you know, sooner or later, hopefully the sooner, um, we'll have uh, filter water. Um, not only for ourselves, but not only for the whole community out here, but like for the community out there, because those are our neighbors out there as well. Uh, you probably can't see it from here, but out of my backyard here, I have a great view of Salvation Mountain. It's a shame if you can't see it, 
but it's there, I promise. Um, yeah, it's about a poof, three quarters of a mile walk straight through the desert, or about you know a mile if you took the road. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I don't really have much to say. I said I'm tired. We're all hurt. We're out of water, so we're manually pumping. Like I'm doing solar. I'm doing a million things. Like uh, I'm not complaining. I love it. That's what I came out here to do. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm tired. Sun setting. Uh, I just wanted to like make a quick video about you know uh, asking for money. We don't. Uh, yeah, please don't send us your money. Um, if I wanted to make money, those of you who know me, like look up my resume. I make. I could make $150 an hour pretty easily. Uh, in Babylon. I didn't, I didn't come out here to make money. I came out here to do good and to build, uh, you know, to work on my life's work rather than someone else's life's work and, um, you know, to build, use technology to help people in a practical way. Um, if you watch my other videos, you'll see some of that. I have like mental health, social services, AIs, um, you know, things like that, um, educational AI. Um, I'd rather do that than, like, I'm really good at making you guys click more ads and buy more shit that you don't need, and uh, that's a shame, and there's no amount of money you could pay me uh, to do that anymore. Um, it's been several years now, not just since I got here. Um, I was doing the same thing I'm doing here in New York. I was actually off-grid in New York, and I traveled across the country without a car to get from New York to California, so... I know a lot about surviving in the woods and putting up a hammock in a tent and purifying my own water from rivers and all that good stuff uh, so no big change for me um, but yeah the address if you want to send us something and please again don't send money send you don't have to send anything honestly and I'm not gonna treat you any better for sending something um, we're gonna say thank you we're gonna put it to good use anything that gets sent I'm gonna make a video no matter how small it is here's where it went here's who got it uh, here's what we used it for um, but at the end of the day, I'm happy for you guys to watch me do all this hard work by myself because that's how I roll. So the address is 368 Highline Canal Road, Nyland, California. I believe it's 92257, but I'm not positive. Pretty sure it is, though. Um, we don't have a P.O. box or anything like that, so don't send anything there. The old P.O. box that was the former occupants is not owned by us and we have no access to it so please don't send anything there but uh yeah you know common items like if you want to see us use something if you know uh you know i own maybe three t-shirts a couple pairs of jeans and a few shorts and that goes pretty much for the same anywhere here um we already give a lot to the community so whatever we don't use um will definitely be put to a good purpose uh so we, so yeah, I think that would just help a lot as far as like people's trust and plus not only that, but like I said, a few people have gotten burned. Um, so be careful where you send your money to. Like, this is not about money. Um, I didn't come out here for money. I've lived on three different sides of Central Park. I worked at Google and NBC. I've worked at on 40 different TV shows, dozens of video games, movie websites. Like, I I didn't come here to be rich. I came here to be poor. Uh, I was born poor, so I never fell for it, um, but it's just, yeah, as you get to know me, I guess, you'll, you'll understand, uh, you know, money's the root of all evil, um, besides the, the fucking and drinking and smoking, I'm actually a pretty devout Buddhist, um, and I take my vows very seriously, and I've taken a vow of poverty, um, so I refuse to have more than a hundred dollars in my bank account. Um, otherwise I'm doing something wrong and I literally ask my friends, I will withdraw it and give it to a homeless person before I keep $120 in my bank account, $20 going in somebody's pocket or feeding someone because, you know, I'm strange that way. Anyway, I know this is a little rambling and whatever, but I'm just enjoying my walk in the desert. Let me give you a little back view of the community here. So, there's the back of Goonies at sunset. And there's Tori's camp, there's Flux, Shevashi House, and way down on the end there is Wolfpack. Uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, I'm not even sure what we need yet, honestly. I'm still in, like, uh, rebuilding mode and, like, fixing broken pipes. And uh, I got some solar working, um, but I'm I, like, desperately need a charge controller or three, actually. 
Um, all the batteries that I have are all reconditioned. So I've rebuilt them. We've put new acid. Uh, my friend Beret over there, who's also one of the founders of this community, actually, he likes to lay low. So I hope he doesn't mind me mentioning his name. Um, but uh, he's 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 helping with that also. Like you know, we're together. We're finding old batteries, fixing them up, getting some charge on them, and you know, putting them putting them to use. We're using like cracked solar panels because cracked solar panels still work. You get voltage out of them. You just don't get a lot of current out of them. So they're okay for trickle charging a battery. So you know, we're working with what we got. That is Juju. Juju, what are you doing? Juju. This is our other cat, Juju. Aoka's his daddy, but he hangs out with all of us. Say hi, Juju. <laughs> There's Juju walking out in the desert with me. There's the greenhouse and... So these trees are exceedingly rare out here. I mean, there's maybe, maybe nine of them in the slabs and we have one, two, three right next to each other. Uh, the third one is Shepherd's Tree House. The second one is Flux and myself and Beret and Dusty. And uh, that's the Goonies tree. So yeah, we are like, you know, I did not think that uh, just a few months in that, that, you know, I would have that tree, let alone this tree. Um, but yeah. The plan here is uh, for us to live under that tree and the other 75% of the whole property here will be some form of open um, community centered like space. So we have a space with sofas over there and a big white wall where we could like show movies and people hang out and uh, we have a grill over there and a public pantry. So we have two pantries. We have a little pantry so nobody eats my chocolate chip cookies. But then we also have this big pantry here full of food um, that we all collect together. And uh, a lot of the people in the community also fill that pantry with us. So there's always, I love to cook and I love to cook for an army. I've been doing that since the day I got here actually. Uh, so, you know, it's nice to have. And also since it's a public pantry, um, people could come and get food if they don't have any. You could just, nobody's gonna ask questions. Come and get, take a can of beans, a bag of rice, some vegetables, fruit, you know, and, uh, that's why we set it up. Yeah, if I really want to eat it, it goes in my little cooler, my little Twinkies and stuff. Uh, but for the most part, you know, uh, the food is open here. Um, uh, I have removed every lock off of everything. Uh, one of the things that bothered me uh, before this whole situation blew up uh, was locks started going on stuff. Locks started going on the cooler. Locks started going on the trailers. Locks started going on the shed. Locks even went on the kitchen. Um, which to me is a kind of travesty. Um, like, I just, you know, I don't do that. So uh, what we are doing is in a couple of those places, obviously, like we don't want just strangers rolling up and taking our tools and stuff. Uh, so what I've done is replaced the two locks. I left the other two open, but the two places that we are locking are locked with combination locks. And uh, all the community leaders and members of the local community here We'll have the combination so there's no mother may i there's no please can i have some food you know if you're bringing a guest in then you can get your friends a soda you can get your friends water from the pantry um, but you know this is you don't have to beg anybody for the key uh, really i really didn't did not like that what are you guys doing puppy party ah tori's coming to get me so Time to go and have some snuggle time in a hammock. Uh, but yeah, please don't send us your money. I don't want it. Bye.